Hi Virgo, welcome to your September 2017 love reading. It's Raina here. So before I begin, I just wanted to announce a new series of videos that I have on Vimeo. And it's called Ready for Love. And it's specifically for people who are ready for a new relationship. These readings that I do on YouTube have tended to involve people who are already um, in a relationship or have just gotten out of a relationship. And I have decided to just have like an instructional video that talks about some things that you can do on your end, as well as predictive things as when will you meet this person and things of that nature. So it's kind of fun in that sense. But the other thing too is that differs from this reading is it uses oracle cards in addition to the tarot spread that I created. So the link is below this video in the description box. And I also am providing a link to my uh, website where you can order a personal reading if you are interested. So as you can see, I've already laid out the cards. I had to start over again. And what I was saying the first time is that the heart of the matter is the King of Wands. The King can be a father. So it could be your father, a father figure, the father of your child, your boss, as it can be somebody in a position of authority over you. And in some cases, this will be the case because I got like a workman's card for the past tense. So you could be working for this person. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is a very uh, dynamic individual. They're not, you know, this is not the King of Pentacles who is very business savvy in terms of making money and just all about, you know, is defined by their material wealth. This is somebody who is a very creative individual, and they may even be very expressive. They may have like kind of a boisterous temperament. Um, and somehow this person has wound up in your life in some way and is influencing you romantically. Now, what was so interesting is that I just did Leo's reading and I got some of the same cards and I was talking about a Virgo person and their reading. So maybe this is a Leo person in your reading. And um, it's really kind of enhancing that particular message. But in the past tense, I get the, the Eight of Pentacles, which is a card of somebody perfecting their craft, um, working very hard. So this could be somebody who's a workaholic, who's been working uh, long hours, and that could have impacted a relationship that you were in and maybe in a negative way and that you know and that had its own set of consequences however this could also be you trying to work hard on the relationship and when I see this card I sometimes think of somebody who is doing things in a one-sided way where they they're trying to save the relationship and yet the other party isn't really reciprocating they're they're just like going on about their life and it's like you're trying to save the marriage and the other person really is indifferent or just self-absorbed at least um, the other thing um, that can be going on is that you're working for this person you're having an affair with your boss I mean that's always a possibility and what's what's coming in right now is the star card so the the situation could be that you're hoping to save a relationship and this is saying have faith that this is going to work out because the star card is a card of healing it's a card of it's a message of hope and telling you that you're going to have better days ahead and you're going to feel more optimistic Actually, it might even be happening to you right now. We're starting to feel a sense of relief. Now, in some cases, that may actually be because you have given up on the relationship. You may have been trying so hard that you did not 
um, you did not realize that, that this was not going to happen and you just kept going and then finally you surrendered to the fact that the relationship is over and now you're at peace because we even have as the higher message the justice card and this is can be you know literally the law um, making the final decision the verdict the final verdict on the relationship in the form of divorce and the thing that I want you to take away from this is when I see the eight of pentacles it's like somebody trying too hard and they're like they're working to prevent the inevitable. And of course, we just went through the eclipse season in August. And the aftermath of that is sometimes not felt until later on. And even with the, you know, the lunar eclipse is the first thing. And that's the full moon. That's when the endings might happen. But even with the solar eclipse, it's still something to do with change. I just wanted to say also that starting on August 12th, there is the Mercury retrograde until September 5th. So as we go into the month of September, we are still in a Mercury retrograde in addition to dealing with the aftermath of August's eclipse, eclipses. And that can also make things uh, a little bit up in the air. Remember that you are ruled by Mercury, so you may even be impacted by this. Uh, I was going to say more adversely, but sometimes I've heard that people that are Geminis and, and Virgos actually handle things better. But regardless, it's you're not the only person involved, and there can be misunderstandings or at least delays when it comes to like if there is a legal situation going on but if this is um, a situation where you restore a relationship the justice card is saying on the spiritual level that you are seeking fairness and you get what you seek and this is important because Virgos tend to be the people, the servants, who are catering to other people. And sometimes they, or you, have to take responsibility for that tendency because you can set up a, a dynamic where the other person can take advantage of you, take you for granted, so you have to stand up for your rights. You cannot allow other people to walk all over you. And this is probably, in some cases, you grow a backbone and, and say, hey, I want to be treated like I deserve to be treated. Now, if this King of Wands is somebody that you're involved with, and I would say especially like, could be an Aries, but I would say especially like a Leo type of person, and it might not be their sun sign, but it might be that they're very, very strong fire this person is a very could be a very generous person and a very warm person but they may be kind of bossy and they may be kind of self-absorbed sometimes and that it's not that they're uh, mean or anything like that but they just might think that they have the right to uh, you know order people around and act like they are the center of the universe. What crosses you is represented by the Queen of Wands. So this can be a situation. Now this is interesting because if we're talking about the workplace, this could also be a supervisor who's a female who is very temperamental. Um, she could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, an Aries, and she might be causing problems with you. If you're having an affair in the workplace with a superior, she may, you know, notice this and make problems for you. Um, I only say that because I'm getting these people that seem like they are in charge of things. Also, 
if this is a situation where you are involved with someone and you have a child together, they may have um, a child with somebody else and that mother of their child may be kind of rearing her head and saying, whoa, wait a second. Um, and whether it's that she's jealous, because this could be a, um, a person who is prone to jealousy and is co very competitive with others. And so I could see her being competitive with another woman and saying, you know, maybe she didn't want this person. She might have even walked away from this person. But as soon as he had another girlfriend, then all of a sudden she was trying to get him back or something. And that could be problematic for you. Again, you don't have to get in the fray. Even if there's somebody who is saying bad things about you or trying to draw you in, um, there's no drama if it's one-sided. So it's really not worth it. And besides, um, I always look at these people as energy vampires because they're people who thrive on negative emotion. And so they try to create these dramas because they don't really have true excitement in their lives in terms of their, you know, that they're pursuing their own passions. So if you don't have something positive to pursue, creative to pursue, you create these pathetic negative situations. And unfortunately, some people fall for it and they get sucked into it and they end up, you know, of course, getting very drained from the experience. And so this person, when it's in the upright position, is a very confident and generous and noble, cheerful woman. So you be like her in the upright position. You take the higher road if you're dealing with somebody, whether it is a, a, a female superior at work, a female boss, or whether it's someone connected to your current partner. Could be like a, you know what I was thinking too, it could be like a mother-in-law or the mother of your uh, partner who is very smothering, <laughs> trying to, she's jealous of every woman that he is with. So it could be something along those lines to an overbearing mother. What comes in is Page of Pentacles. Now, given that we have that Mercury retrograde, this could be something that is delayed, a delayed message that, that maybe helps you in some way. If you are embroiled in a, an affair at work in some way, you may decide that you want to get away from that. And this could be like a job offer. You could hear from somebody about employment, This, because this is a, a money card and a career card, and it's a message. Um, it could also be a situation where if you have a child with this person that you're with, there could be some kind of message about that as well. And it might relate to child support or and it might even have to do with a past relationship of yours but there might be a child support issue um, because you have pages can be messages as well as children and and um, the pentacles is money so i'm thinking of like child support um, so that might be something that the justice card is representing is that th there's some kind of issue with child support and that is causing uh, conflict or friction in some way because even as, as the the final card this is a card of family money the ten of pentacles perhaps i mean it, it could also be somebody that you had a child with and you want you want to get back together with him and maybe he's just you know willing to take care of the child it doesn't want anything more to do with the relationship 
But this is a card of financial uh, stability, but not just stability. This is a card of wealth, of sometimes it's inheritances, um, but it can be help from the family. So if you're, uh, one example would be if you're trying to get child support and, and, and the justice card from the father of your child, that king of wands, and uh, maybe you receive a, a message from your family that they're willing to support you, help you, that can be family support. But it also can be a situation you may hear back, and you know, especially during the Mercury retrograde phase, uh, from somebody who is a fellow Earth sign. So another Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, and reunite with that person. Sometimes these Mercury retrogrades bring blasts from the past and then you end up with this person. So it's very interesting what's going on here. There may be a lot of, um, there might be more than one player here. I hope that this reading resonated with you on some level. And I also hope that you have a wonderful September. Take care, you guys. Bye.